All right, here we go with another uh, little update on the various ways I've been doing these 02S retrofits into Mark IVs. The last one, of course, um, I just wholesale bolted into the transmission into the car, and I used this very Mark V bracket for the cables. Um, because two of the bolt holes, compared to uh, where it would be on a Mark IV 02J, are in the wrong locations. So this bolt hole on a Mark IV is actually going to be on this side and up a bit from this bolt hole. And the one that's back here is actually up a bit and further forward on the other side of this vestigial piece of casting that Mark IV and Mark Vs don't even use. It's actually, there is a bolt hole, there is a thread on the other end here, but they don't actually use it. It's kind of a leftover from uh, Mark III, Mark II era cars where they would have had on the Mark IV or even O2J as well as O2A casings, you would see another bolt hole here and a you know, big piece of casting sticking out and a bolt hole here there'd be a mount bracket that bolts there in those cars. Um, O2J doesn't use them, but they still have like the vestigial pieces of casting and bolt holes on the O2J. Um, Mark V and up do not, they just have this one. This is like the only vestigial piece that's left for whatever reason. Um, this is the actual original Mark IV bracket that came off of the Mark IV that I put the O2S into. I'm gonna put it back on the car after I uh, make an adapter to make it fit. Um, so you can see, this bolt hole stays the same. So if we were to line that up there and then line this up, because this bolt hole is gonna be exactly parallel. It's gonna be the exact same distance from where the case split is. It's just gonna be up here and moved up some. So if I kind of put this here, you get an idea of what I have to do as far as making an adapter bracket, a couple adapter brackets to make this work. So um, I probably haven't taken a video of it, but I did post on TDI Club. Um, on a couple of the 02S, 02J hybrids I did where I swapped the bell housing for a 02J. Um, at least doing the 02J bell housing put this bolt hole back where it needed to be, so I only needed to make an adapter for this one. Um, and I find that this power steering bracket that comes off of Mark IV 5 speeds, as well as the 01M 4 speed automatic, uh, let me see the part number here, it is 1J0422. 162N is a Nancy. Um, this has already a nice 90 degree bend on it and has a welded M8 by 125 nut. So half the work that I need for one of them is already done. Basically, if I cut this thing more or less in half, drill another hole just big enough for an M8 bolt to go through it, I can use the bell housing bolt that goes here um, to hold that in place and it gets pretty close. I don't I only have to do minor amount of tweaking to uh, make this line up for the Mark IV bracket. And I think I can use what's left of this bracket to also relocate here. Um, I'm going to have to space it up a little, which I it might actually be just about perfect to use the spacer that's in one of these brackets. Let's maybe even use the bushing as well. There's a metal sleeve in the middle. Use both of those on top here and put what's left of that bracket, just a straight bracket on top. It already has an M8 bolt hole, so I'll reuse that. Um, and then drill another M8 bolt hole where I need it to be for up here, and then put in a riv nut. That's the general idea at least. Um, I do have to be pretty careful where I cut this because if I cut too far this way, I won't be able to drill my M8 hole and have enough material left to keep it secure. And if I go too far this way, then I might not have enough material left to actually make um, the second M8 bolt hole that I need here. So I'm gonna have to be pretty careful if I'm gonna try to use just this one bracket to be my adapter for both of these bolt holes. But uh, I think it's doable. Um, well, I guess I'll just go ahead and uh, start get going on this, hack it apart and uh, see what we can do. All right, so I've hacked the thing in half and I had to, there's a bend to it as well, so I had to cut that side off. And I have it just about right very minimal excess material to make this one right, but then it makes this end of it a little short for the bracket to go here to here. Uh, but you can see though that I have mocked up. The uh, bushing that I robbed out of the Mark V bracket I had on the car, along with the little metal space to prevent it from crushing. When I place that on there, it's pretty close to exactly what I need to step this up to make that bracket fit and work. 
Um, you know, maybe I need to add another washer or something in there, but it's, it's pretty dang close. Um, but as you can see, there doesn't appear to be quite enough material left, I don't think, to actually drill an M8 hole and have significant surrounding here. So what I may end up doing is slotting out this hole so I could actually move this a little bit further forward, giving me a little more material to work with to drill an M8, another M8 bolt hole and put in the riv nut to make this all work. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing, you know, basically using that whole bracket pretty effectively though. Um, so not too bad. So far it's uh, not been too difficult to figure out. Just kind of had to mock things up and tighten this bolt all the way. Um, I might need a washer or two here or just to bend this bracket further. Um, the other dumb thing is I was kind of using the original threaded nut on here to hold this in place while I kind of bent another part of it out of the way. I was trying to bend this that used to face up a little bit more to try and flatten it out some. And then I actually broke off the welded nut that was originally on here, but I have M8 riv nuts, so I just replaced that with a riv nut and called it a day. Um, and that's also what I'm going to be doing on this once I get another M8 bolt hole drilled out and then elongate the original one here to get things to line up where I need them. Um, and then, yeah, once I'm done there, then it'll be just going back to the car, removing this bolt out of the bell housing, installing this bracket, maybe with a washer, run that bolt back in, and then installing this bracket with this as a spacer and then we'll be good to go. We'll have all three bolt holes um, for the original Mark IV bracket sitting on the 02S in that car. Um, easy enough. So I'm not gonna show you how unsafe I've been working with holding this stuff by hand and cutting it, but uh, <laughs> um, fair to say this is not too difficult of a job if you've uh, done even a minor amount of cutting and trying to fabricate things before. All right, well, here we have uh, our brackets kind of made up. This one is a little hokey and it does, as you're tightening this bolt in particular, it does kind of want to walk around, but once everything is tight, this whole setup as a unit doesn't want to move around. Um, I did try to kind of put some torque on it with only these two on and it definitely still wanted to shift around a little bit, which is clearly less than ideal. But even with this one not being the most well supported piece that can kind of wiggle back and forth as you're tightening the bolts. Once everything is tight, it is actually very firmly on there. Um, and I actually ran out of my M8 riv nuts, which I used to repair. Well, apparently the last one I had was I used to repair the welded nut that came off of here. Um, I eventually found the welded nut after it flied across the, uh, the shop, but um, I just kind of put it on here. I didn't even weld it on there. I just held it in place. So. I figure I'll just permanently leave this bolt installed with the bracket on here. And when I go to remove this whole assembly, I'll just remove this bolt. And then I can take that you know, spacer out and uh, keep that bracket with the main bracket and just call it a day. Um, but yeah, I just had to elongate that original M8 hole here a little bit and um, drill another well, approximately eight millimeter hole to uh, allow the bolt to go through and then put that nut on the bottom. Um, it would definitely be more ideal if I had the uh, M8 riv nut there instead, but um, I ran out of them. It is what it is, but um, I will be able to go put this on the car once I get a little break in the weather. It started raining on me while I was uh, messing around with this, so hopefully a little later this afternoon I'll get a break in the weather. I'll go back out there and install my original Mark IV bracket onto that 02S with my goofy homemade adapters and then we'll call it good.